Hey everybody, welcome to episode 118 of the Ask Dap Show, where I answer your Volkswagen and Audi questions. On this episode, we talk about bubbles and sidewalls, repairing a plug near the sidewall, and uni wipers. Is this really an issue when VW EA888 engine has dual injection, both port and direct? Carbon buildup shouldn't be an issue as the fuel coming in mixed with the air should clean the back of the valves. All right, so this question was asked on a video shot about carbon buildup on, on direct injection engines, specifically some on the EA88 engine. Um, so I assume you're probably from out of the country if you're asking this question. Uh, Mark 7s also have a similar engine to this, uh, all the Mark 7 stuff. And in other parts of the world, they have fuel injection that's, they basically have eight injectors in the vehicle for for the in the cylinder for inside the intake manifold so you have port injection and direct injection on a vehicle that has that you do not need to worry about the uh, carbon buildup it shouldn't be an issue i think that's part of the reason why they did that on those cars was to prevent issues around carbon buildup um so that is going to be not a concern in the u.s at least at this point there really aren't any cars that have that multi-port injection setup like what you find in Europe. So for that reason, yes, if you have that, you would not want to be too concerned about carbon buildup. Uh, if you do not have that multi-port injection system, you're, there's more likely chance, although you know, it's kind of still up in the air, carbon buildup on Mark 7s, uh, you know, the current stuff, current 1.8T, current 2.0T in all the MQB stuff and then all the Passat, Jetta, all that stuff. Um, still remains to be seen how prevalent carbon buildup is going to be although i assume it's going to be there i don't know if it's going to be as bad as the tsi carbon buildup concerns around having cold start misfires and that type of stuff once we see more mileage in the next probably year or so on most of those cars i suspect we'll probably see how widespread that concern will be akron eurocar via youtube says hey dap i've been looking around for info on shaving off one of the front wipers I saw people have done that so the driver's side wiper does kind of a 180 degree swipe across the whole windshield. I have a Mark IV GTI, is that possible for this car? All right, so this question for me is kind of a blast from the past. Uh, the product I think you're looking for, there is such a product for Mark IVs. If my memory serves me correctly, I think it is from Bon Brenner. Uh, they were a German company back in the day, back in the Mark IV days when I first got my start with VW. Uh, that was kind of a popular mod. It basically takes the wiper, creates a linkage setup that gives you a single wiper that has, uh, I don't think it has 180 degree motion, although I could be wrong about that. Uh, I think that it does have a decent range of motion that's enough to cover uh, and have a single wiper on the windshield. So if I can find that, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description below, but it's not something we offer. But I believe, assuming they still exist, as a product that probably still is available, again, assuming that they're still around. Zach Banfield via YouTube says, I know it's on a fine line, but can anyone tell me if this is repairable? Nail goes straight in. All right, so this question was asked in a Facebook group and it and, uh, wasn't to me specifically, but I saw it and I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Uh, basically, a lot of the responses were to this were, it's fine, don't worry about it, plug it, you'll be fine, don't worry about it. Um, and I want to express mm, the re there's a reason why people do not plug tires in these circumstances. Um, you know, obviously any conspiracy theorist is going to say it's because they're trying to sell you tires. Uh, that wouldn't exist if there was a legitimacy to it. They wouldn't be telling you that if it was a straight falsehood. And the reason why is because as you get anything that you repair towards the outside of the tire, as your increased cornering, first of all, the tire is going to flex more in corners on the outer edges. And as you increase the pressure, so if you're under hard driving circumstances and that type of thing, if you're going to, you know, let's say tail of the dragon and you have a plug because of the high increased pressure from back and forth going through turns, you're going to increase the pressure in the tire and load uh, that's going to flex, which is going to make it more likely that you blow out a plug or a patch of in that circumstance. So that's the reason why is because it's a safety concern. It is not something that they're trying to sell you tires, although I'm sure most people would love to. 
they're trying to prevent you from having a problem. And, and really what it boils down to is most businesses don't want the liability of making that repair and then having an issue. Now, if you wanna go ahead and buy a plug kit from AutoZone or whatever, feel free to do so and plug it. I personally don't recommend it and I understand why people might wanna go through plugging stuff that's near the sidewall, you know, especially on something that, you know, is necessarily maybe a brand new tire or has a ton of meat left on it. You don't wanna spend all the money on a pair of tires in that circumstance. I understand. I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts around this where basically everybody's saying it's fine, don't worry about it, but there's at least some some credibility to have something to worry about or at least be aware of the risks that are associated with it. Joshua via Facebook says, okay, anyone have this happen to their OEMs? Ignore the filthy everything, it's been raining for weeks nonstop here, but this morning I noticed this golf ball sized sidewall bulge. OEMs and I just hit 9K on the odometer. It was not there this weekend driving around town, so this is a fresh development, no fresh potholes or anything. Okay, bubbles and sidewalls. So bubbles and sidewalls are something that generally are only going to be a result of a pothole. Now, whether or not you felt like you hit a pothole bad enough to have determined whether that was an issue is probably not necessarily going to be the case. You may not have had a really bad pothole that you hit that caused the sidewall bubble. Uh, you also can get this from curb curbing a tire as well. Really any impact can cause damage to the inside of the uh, tire itself, which is going to create a bubble in the sidewall. M important note that's very, very much important, even more so than I think than, than patching near a sidewall. A bubble in a sidewall is very high potential of blowing out. You should not drive for any extended period of time with that. That is a huge safety hazard and should be replaced immediately. So. Uh, if there's a, if you have a road hazard warranty that that type of damage would be covered under that um, There's probably a wide range of road hazard warranties that are going to vary It's not going to be on the car from the factory So a new car wouldn't have a road hazard warranty unless it was like part of a package that a dealership puts together for you um, That's generally not gonna be the case So it would be something that you would have purchased separately by a third party and all, all of those uh, companies are going to handle things a little differently so if you have that, you're going to have to reach out to that uh, whoever the warranty is through and get your tires replaced. If not, I would suggest replacing your pair of tires uh, as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching episode 118 of the Ask App Show, where I answer your Volkswagen and Audi questions. If you have any questions or comments about the questions answered in this show, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.